Welcome to the Neuronauts Classroom. In this video, we are going to explore how your brain sends messages and controls everything you do. So, how does your brain know what's going on in the world around you, have thoughts and control your body? That's a lot of complicated questions, but it's all done using tiny things called neurons that make up a lot of your brain. These neurons send and get messages whenever you think, feel or do something. Neurons come in lots of different shapes and sizes and have different jobs in your brain. You have about 85 billion neurons. Your brain is connected to all parts of your body by lots of tiny neurons that connect to each other and send messages along the pathways they make. A bit like a maze of busy highways. Using these connections and pathways, your brain can send messages out to your body and also get messages from your body and information from the world around you. The messages to your brain come from your senses, like what you see, hear, smell, taste and feel. So your brain knows about the world around you and what is happening to you. Ouch! The messages sent from your brain tell your muscles what to do, so your body can do things in the world around you like waving, reaching, kicking, walking, and talking. Bye! Messages to and from your brain are sent from neuron to neuron along the nerve, like dominoes tipping each other over in a chain. Using your brain regularly for an activity helps your brain to create strong connections between the parts of your brain used to do that activity. So if you practice math or riding a bike a lot, the how to do things with numbers and how to ride a bike pathways in your brain get stronger. And you'll get better at these things. Of course you can also make strong connections in your brain between things that are not helpful if you keep doing them. For example, if you often shout when you have angry feelings, the connections between feeling angry and shouting will get stronger. And this will happen more easily and be hard to stop. But if you practice doing something else when you feel angry, like taking a deep breath or quietly counting to 10, then these connections will get stronger. So remember that you can help your brain to learn connections which are helpful to you by practicing what you want to happen. Thank you for joining us at the Neuronauts Classroom for this video. If you enjoyed it, please check out our other videos about how your brain works. For more information, links and worksheets, please go to ccd.edu.au where you can also find more information about the Neuronauts Brain Science Club and how you can help scientists learn more about how your brain works.